Hello. My name is Ian Canfield, and I want you to play baseball. Now, let me start with a simple question. What comes to your mind when you hear the words baseball? Maybe grass, or baseball is more logical, or vendors yelling hot dogs. I think of playing on a baseball field. Now, when I was younger, I, I started playing baseball when I was three years old, and my, and my dad taught me. I've been playing baseball for 10 se seasons now, and last year I broke my thumb. And it was a real re reflection if I want to play baseball or not, and I still do, and I've benefited greatly from it. Now, the benefits to playing baseball are the team experience, the unexpectedness of the game, and baseball as a stress reliever. In the team e experience, a ben the benefits of playing on a team experience is uh, great coaches being on a team in a three-piece. A, a coach is, is always su supposed to improve your fundamentals, teach you uh, character development, which is to make you a better person, and they're always there just to stick up for you. Now, a good coach always cheers you on, teaches you, shows up, plays fair, and has fun. But a bad coach never shows up, plays on his phone, doesn't care, and cheats. Now, being on a team is a really great way to get to know friends. When I was younger, I lived in Keller, and I played baseball there, and I knew some really cool friends. And next year, I'm moving back there. So I'm going to know some friends when I played baseball from 10 years ago, and I'm going to see them again. So it was kind of cool. Now, when you're younger and you play on a baseball team, everybody gets to play. But as you get older, the better person starts to play. So you have to work for your spot. And when I was younger, I wanted to play all the time. And the three P's of baseball are practice, patience, and persistence. And that was, made, that was made by Lucy Philpoo of Palo Alto High. The first P is practice. That means to do better or get better at it. And, uh, and why do you practice in baseball? Because you need to work on your, uh, your throwing motion or your batter swing. This, the second P of baseball is persistence. And, uh, patience, sorry. <coughs> The uh, definition of patience is the ability to uh, accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or hardship without getting angry or upset. And you need this in baseball because you need patience to practice. If you're not going to get better overnight, it's going to take time. The third P is persistence, and that means to always try hardest and never give up. And you need this in baseball because if you're losing in the very last inning and and you're down by 10 runs, you never want to give up, and you always want to try and win. The second benefit to playing baseball is the unexpectedness, the unexpectedness of the game. In the 2004 ALCS, or the American League Championship Series, which is the series before the World Series, it, it consisted of the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. What happened was that the Red Sox lost their first three games, but then won their last four. They were the first team to ever do that in the history of the MLB. They ended up going to the World Series, which was the first time since 1986. And then they won the World Series, which was the first time since 1980. The 1969 Mets were the worst team in 1968. And they were the worst team since the first part of 1969. But what happened was they ended up winning the whole World Series, and they were known as the Miracle Mets. Now, possibly you're wondering why I'm telling you the 1969 Mets and the 2004 Red Sox. That's because they were, they were unexpected, and no one thought that they were going to win. So they found they, they had courage in themselves, and they thought that they were going to win, and they didn't. And who knows, they could use those three Ps. Now, the third benefit to playing baseball is baseball as a stress reliever. Now, to me, baseball is the best time of the day, and I always look forward to it. Whenever I'm playing baseball, I forget about all my worries, such as like school or homework. Yogi Berra is a Hall of Fame catcher for the Yankees. He said, baseball has always been good for anything you did. You have something to watch. It, baseball, takes your mind off things. So obviously, baseball really meant something to him, too. Now, through, through the years, baseball has gotten people through some really hard times. In the 20s, the roaring 20s, when everybody was all rich and wealthy and they were all happy, they didn't, they didn't really need baseball. But when the 30s hit, when the Great Depression hit, everybody lost their jobs and money. They, they kind of fell on baseball to uh, for, for, forget about their worries. And that same thing happened in the 40s. When all the men went off to war, the older men and the disabled men who could not go to war just watched baseball or played baseball. Now what now? A 
told you all these benefits, and it's pretty awesome. If you hopefully you're you're thinking of oh I can't play baseball now, well there are some places to play. In, in Arlington there are a bunch of parks around, so there's always parks to play at. Your backyard to play some wiffle ball with friends or family, and there are, and there's also some leagues like the DFW Baseball Association. And if you want to watch some baseball, there are some Ranger games. Now the Rangers haven't been doing the, uh, good the past couple years. The tickets are kind of cheap, but I still love the Rangers. Now you're possibly wondering why I chose this president. That's because baseball is like a poker game. You never want to quit while you're ahead, and you never want to quit while you're behind. I benefited, I benefited from baseball greatly, and if you choose to play baseball, you will too.